Hello all, welcome to my demo. In this simple example, we are going to take a look at how to insert and later on update account data from an Excel, Excel file uh, to a Salesforce org using Talent Open Studio. So to start with the Salesforce org, currently we have 12 account records in my Salesforce org. The Excel file that we are using as a source of data currently has two rows of account data. The header row has the column names which we will be mapping uh, to the fields in the account object in our Salesforce org. This particular column called the unique identifier will be mapped to an external ID of the same name on the account object. We will use this particular column to upsert account data at a later stage. So let's start by creating uh, metadata for our Excel file. So as you can see, Talent has read all the column names from the Excel file with uh, the rows. Now to set the metadata, I'm going to skip the first uh, row as you can see because it has a generic, it has generic column names. I'm going to skip the first row. And I'm going to set the heading row as column names. And now our heading row will be this one. So we have got our column names from the Excel file, which we will be mapping to our Salesforce or the account object in our Salesforce org. Next, we will be creating the Salesforce uh, metadata. So we'll start by creating a Salesforce connection to our org. Once the connection is successful, we will be retrieving the metadata for the account object. Once this is successful, you can see all the fields from the account objects have been retrieved by talent. Now we'll drag and drop the Excel files metadata as an input component and select the input file input Excel and I'll drag and drop the Salesforce orgs metadata as an output component and select as the Salesforce output. Now to connect both these components, I'm going to use the map components from the palette. map here I'm going to get the input from the Excel file into the tmap component and I'm going to point the output to the Salesforce component Once we have the team map component, we will be mapping the columns from the Excel file to the relevant fields in the Salesforce org on account object on the Salesforce org. So we have the name here, and the name here, and 
Similarly for all the other fields. Now once I have this done, I'll be deleting all the other columns from the target dog. Now to delete this. Finally, right, so I have all my columns mapped. One important thing here is Excel's metadata has read uh, the phone column as an integer, but I'm going to change this to a string data type. And I'm going to apply this mapping and I'm going to click on OK. Now once I have this done, let's try and run this job. All right, as you can see, the job is successful and we have got two rows which we have migrated from the excel file to the salesforce org let's quickly go to the salesforce org hit refresh and check if we have those two new accounts created as you can see we have two new accounts created here universal motors and universal textiles so one important thing to consider which i failed to mention previously was that the output action on the salesforce output connection should be absurd if you want to do an absurd operation if you just want to insert it should be insert and so on and so forth so now i have selected absurd and the absurd key column like we saw before was the unique identifier field uh, in salesforce this is an external uh, external id field uh, which talent would use as a foreign key to map the data from the excel file to the salesforce org let's try by updating something in the excel file and try running the job and see if the updates are migrated so i'll try and change the name of the universal textiles account to universal textiles inc and similarly to universal motors account to universal motors, motors inc <clears throat> now the unique identifier is the same we won't be changing anything in this if this is this is changed then obviously a new account will be created i'm going to hit save and i'm going to run the current job again i can see two rows have been updated now in our salesforce org i'm going to hit refresh 
and as you can see the names have been updated so in summary we saw how talent open studio can be used to migrate data from external sources like an excel file like a simple excel file in this example to salesforce and how data can be manipulated thank you